I'm going to pose another problem for you about the problem we just finished. So here's the problem that we just finished. Um, and in this case, remember that we figured out that the displacement was going to be 122.5 meters in the positive direction. Uh, so now we can go back and label that as our new delta y. Positive 122.5 meters. Positive 122.5 meters. Um, now, suppose that now I decide that I also want to know um, what the velocity is going to be after five seconds. Suppose I also want to know what the velocity is going to be after five seconds. So I want to know the velocity at this point. So now we have a new question. Well, this is going to be the final velocity because it's after the five seconds have expired. So try to pause the video and figure out what this velocity is going to be. Well, we can erase all of this work. Notice that the one thing we don't, uh, one thing we want to keep is we should write down that we've already figured out this displacement, positive 122.5 meters. All right, now we're not going to ignore the vertical velocity anymore. Now we want to know what that final vertical velocity is. That's the velocity after five seconds. Well, now we know four values. When you know four values, you can pick pretty much any kinematics equation you want. The only equation we can't pick is we can't use the equation that is missing the final velocity. Obviously, it would be dumb to pick the equation that's missing the final velocity. We can't, uh, that wouldn't be helpful in finding the final velocity, but we can use any of the other four equations. Um, whichever you like. Uh, I guess maybe the simplest one to use is this one. Here's the simplest equation to use. Uh, so let's use this equation here. By the way, notice that since we're using this equation, we're not actually going to end up plugging in the displacement that we figured out, because the displacement doesn't appear here. Um, but if we had used uh, another of the equations, we could have plugged in the displacement. So remember, we don't have to use this equation. We can use any of the kinematics equations now, uh, except for the one that's missing the final velocity, uh, because now we know four numbers. So let's plug in. Uh, well, let's see. Final velocity, we don't know. We don't plug in for that. The initial velocity is zero. I'll put in parentheses for the acceleration and then plug in positive 9.8. The parentheses help to separate the positive sign from the addition sign. So always be in the habit of putting in these parentheses when you insert signs numbers. And then the time is five. I can use parentheses for that to show the multiplication. Well, the zero term is going to drop out. And we can use our calculator to figure out 9.8 times 5. 9.8 times 5 is 49. Now we have to do some work before this is an acceptable answer. Uh, let's see, we have to show the units. Now mathematically this number came out to be positive, but we should show that explicitly. And then we should ask whether that makes sense. Do we expect a positive velocity? Well, we know that we've chosen down as our positive direction, and we know that at this point we're going to be moving down. So yes, it's good that this came out to be positive. If this number had come out to be negative, that would indicate that we'd made a mistake. So the answer to this new problem is that after five seconds, the velocity will be positive 45 meters per second. Looks like I put the wrong units there. No. So here's the correct units. The units should be positive 49 meters per second. Now, remember that this answer is going to be meaningless to whoever is reading your work unless you also tell them what your positive direction is. Unless you say what your positive direction is, they don't know what positive means. You have to include this um, in, your, um, in your work or they wouldn't know how to interpret this answer. Okay, so remember that if you know three numbers, um, you can pick out a kinematics equation to figure out um, uh, either of the other two numbers. And once you know four of the kinematics numbers, you can use any of the uh, equations to figure out the final variable. You can use any of the equations except, of course, the one that's totally missing that variable. So remember, you didn't have to use this equation to solve uh, this problem. You could use, um, there's, I guess, three other equations that you could have used to figure out the final velocity.